Guten Tag. That's German for hello. Today we're traveling to the country of Germany. It's called the Magic Porridge Pot, a German story. One winter's day, Hans was walking to school when he met an old woman asking for food. Hans came from a poor family and only had a crust of bread for his lunch, but he happily shared it with the old woman, for he knew how it felt to be hungry himself. On the way home, he met the old woman again. She handed him a little cooking pot. This is to thank you for your kindness, she said. Tap it and say, cook little pot, cook, and it will give you as much porridge as you wish. If you wanted to stop, tap it once more and say, stop little pot, stop. Hans thanked her and carried the pot home. When his mother and little brother Fritz saw their battered old pot, they thought Hans had picked up some trash along the path. But then he tapped it and said, cook little pot, cook. Suddenly the kitchen was filled with a delicious sweet smell and to their amazement, the pot bubbled with thick creamy porridge. Stop little pot, stop, said Hans with another tap and they all dug in. From that day, Hans and his family never had to go hungry again. They had porridge whenever they wished. Sometimes they stirred in a spoonful of jam or a handful of berries. Sometimes they invited their neighbors in to share a warm meal. Then one morning while Hans was at school, Fritz decided that he wanted more. His mother was outside fetching firewood. So Fritz tapped the pot and said, cook little pot, cook. Sure enough, the little pot began to fill with porridge. Fritz spooned some into his bowl and began to eat, but the pot kept cooking. He didn't notice the porridge dribbling over the top of the pot until he licked his bowl clean. Stop cooking pot, he said, but the pot didn't stop. Porridge spilled over the stove and onto the kitchen floor. Fritz began to cry and his mother came rushing in from the garden. What's happened, she cried. Stop, porridge pot, stop. But the pot kept cooking. Porridge flooded the kitchen and flowed out through the back door. It bubbled down the path and into the street. All the cats in the village ran up to eat their fill and the dogs ran after them. What's happened, cried the villagers as warm porridge oozed into their houses and shops. Somebody stop this, but nobody could. The children slipped and skidded and sledged in porridge. They even tried to make porridge snowmen, but soon it was too deep to play in. It filled the rooms of the houses, so everyone had to climb out of the windows and on to their rooftops. Eat as much as you can, cried the mayor, but it was no use. The porridge kept coming. It streamed down the road like a white lumpy river until it reached the schoolhouse. When Hans smelled the sweet porridge, he ran out of school. At once he knew what had happened. But how could he get home to put things right? A wintry gust of wind gave him an idea. The children had been making kites at school that day. So he fetched the kite and threw it into the sky. As it flew up, he grabbed onto its tail and soared high above the porridge river and over the village. When Hans reached his house, he let go and landed softly in his porridge garden. Just as he did so, the little cooking pot bobbed up. Hans tapped it. Stop, little pot, stop, he said, and it stopped cooking at once. Hans sighed with relief but it took many days for people to eat their way back into their houses. And nobody in that village, except Hans and his family, ever ate porridge again.